this one kesari as stupa uh, it was completely covered with mud and there were many trees growing over that one so and that is the first stupa that is known as terrace to stupa but we did not know it was terrace stupa because and it was fully covered with mud for thousands and thousands of years uh, for many centuries and then it was overgrown with a number of trees also but when we excavated it was known that this is a stupa because you know buddha when he started from vaishali because he was on his last journey he started from uh, this one from uh, rajgir came to patliputra from patliputra he crossed ganga river went to vaishali and when he reached vaishali there there was a sermon in which he said that he is i mean it is the la, for the last time that he is looking towards vaishali idam pachimagam ananda vaishali dishyanam bhavishyati and here after i will not look towards vaishali that is what he said and he has predicted about his impending death also three months before that one so the people also of vaishali also i mean they were emotionally charged and they said that if you are going from this city we will also follow you so they followed but lord buddha said to please don't come behind me but they followed him almost for 50 kilometers and uh, when he reached that kesariya he said no hereafter you will not and he handed over his begging bowl to the people of vaishali so there a small stupa mud stupa was built but during the ashogan period it became a brick stupa and then during the gupta period it became a terrace stupa 1 2 3 4 5 so it was this terrace stupa which gave inspiration for the great maha stupa that is barabadur stupa in indonesia because students had come from various parts of the world to study at nalanda university nalanda of course we had tatshila but tatshila was a smaller university nalanda even in 3rd century 4th century 5th century bc it was an international university and just think that oxford university i uh, mean the first modern university is paris university we also call it strasbourg university that was in 12th century and then you have oxford university in 13th century then cambridge university that is also 13th I mean, roughly in 13 between 13 and 15th century 700 years before 800 years before you had a bigger university in india where students came not only not only from in I mean, indian subcontinent indian subcontinent means i mean the whole india pakistan bangladesh afghanistan nepal not only from here you had a number of students from china from japan because fa uh, hyang sang himself was a student here he studied for two years in this university and then he became a teacher also in this great university and similarly from a number of universities uh, from a number of countries from this one that is indonesia malaysia and uh, this one i mean uh, sri lanka thailand students were there there and the king of sumatra he donated four villages for the library of uh, nalanda university and nalanda university library was nine story library at that time it is such a thing so when you walk over the mounds of nalanda or even on the soil of nalanda you should remember that you are walking on the footsteps of that hyang sang who had walked over this place seven i mean many i in 7th century bc 7th century ad so this is that one once you put up uh, this one tongue in each and every brick of nalanda that will tell you a thrilling story of those period so that we should be able to evoke that kind of uh, this one feeling and we should be able to put a tongue also in each and every brick of the university so this was one of those excavations and then i excavated another one in rajgir that, that was a rajgir stupa 
it was still older because you know, there the relics of lord buddha that was also enshrined because the uh, relics of lord buddha after his death it was divided into eight portion the bigger portion had come to rajgir because at that time ajada shatru was the most important king of uh, this one magadha so the major portion came here that was enshrined in a stupa but where was this stupa nobody knew people had identified various places but then i could identify a mount i excavated and we got certain part of that relic casket also it was of course earlier taken the relics were taken by I mean, smugglers that was long long back just after perhaps uh, ashoka but we could get a part of that relic, relic casket so that was the importance of it so similarly so many things you know bihar is a wonderful land it is full of every second stone is a monument it is pregnant with history and you should be able to unravel that history please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit cittti.net dhanyawad namaskar